Chegou. Good evening, everyone, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we welcome you to today's roundtable, which is going to be a session of crisp dialogue and valuable take home. So we are currently live on uh, YouTube, LinkedIn, Facebook, as well as Instagram. Uh, in the course of this evening, if any of you have any questions, kindly keep them coming in our comment section, and we will have the panelists address them at the end of the session. Uh, for some of you who are joining us for the first time, let me briefly introduce you to our magazine, IndiaArtAndDesign.com. So India Art and Design is a decade-young boutique magazine with a focus on showcasing creative talents in uh, the fields of art, design, and architecture. As an online-only magazine, it is aimed at uh, the on-the-move individual, the enthusiastic art and design uh, personnel. Uh, we publish about four to five features every week, uh, which are compiled into a weekly issue that goes out to a subscriber base of about 21,000 subscribers world over. And among some of our readers are uh, stalwarts from the building industry, from uh, the architect and design community world over, as well as homemakers and uh, design enthusiasts. Now, coming to the topic for this evening, uh, where we uh, say new products and specialized services in the building industry. Uh, here, we say that innovation uh, is key to growth and especially the growth of a designer and architect because these creative individuals are forever reinventing themselves and uh, the new product here acts as the fundamental catalyst for their growth. Now running parallel is the lesser addressed field which is of the service provider and especially of the specialized service provider because they generally work behind the scenes. So when uh, we look at a space as proud owners of well-designed spaces, whether they are homes, offices, or any other spaces, a hotel, if we, uh, a restaurant that we may go to, we marvel at the aesthetic result, little, uh, you know, kind of realizing uh, that the detail that goes into it is actually uh, the work of both these individuals, the architect, as well as the specialized service provider. So this roundtable today uh, proposes to address the viewpoints of these two individuals, the architect, the service provider, as well as the brand builder who becomes a, a interconnecting link, a very important link uh, that bridges this connect. So let me introduce uh, the first speaker for today, uh, Kavita Lakhani, Director of Operations, Weber Shandwick. Uh, Kavita, may I invite you to please give us a introduction to yourself. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Savita and Lalit, for having me today on the India Art and Design platform. And uh, uh, thank you. It's such a pleasure to be in the company of uh, Balbir and Anukuzu today. Um, i just like to introduce myself as a communication specialist. Uh, I've been in the business of building brands for uh, nearly three decades now. And I've had an opportunity to work with some of the uh, biggest brands in the world, the, the most reputed brands, as well as startup brands. Uh, and I understand their journeys, uh, which are very different journeys, uh, you know, I would say very closely. And uh, I'm happy to be here on this platform, happy to take any questions and, uh, you know, uh, share whatever little knowledge that I've kind of uh, experienced and accumulated over the years. Uh, back to you, Savita. Uh, thank you, Kavita. That's a very humble introduction compared to the lot of work that you have put in in the last uh, 25 years plus. Uh, but yes, we will we will make the most of your expertise today. Um, Mr. Sridhar, can you please introduce yourself, sir? Good evening, everyone. I'm Sridhar Architect. Uh, I've been operating in Hyderabad since 25 years. I've done a lot of... Uh, residential and the commercial and uh, Bangla segment of buildings in Hyderabad and uh, both in Telangana and uh, Andhra Pradesh. So it's been a pleasure being part of this session. We'll be, I'll be loving to share my ideas, whatever knowledge I have in the field of architecture. Uh, love to share my ideas. I mean, about the new products or, uh, I mean, old products being used in a 
new contemporary way so any any questions whatever i can i'll definitely respond thank you sir Uh, thank you, sir. So, uh, Mr. Shridhar Anupuzo is a principal architect of uh, Seacon Consultants Hyderabad, which is a leading firm uh, doing both uh, large-scale architecture as well as interior design. Uh, we are very uh, privileged to have you with us sir, this evening. Um, and our uh, third panelist, uh, Balbir ji, uh, Mr. Balbir Singh is a specialized service provider in the fields uh, in the field of. Uh, kitchens as well as wardrobes so we call him an evangelist because he's really into it completely uh, balbir ji why don't you give us a little bit about yourself thank you savita good evening everybody so my life journey in mumbai started 20 years back when i moved here and uh, i got into a company who was selling kitchens <clears throat> it was an italian brand and uh, ever since then i've been in love with this area and uh, i have progressed i have worked all of these years and now i focus purely on providing you a kitchen end to end solution and similar for the wardrobes i have always believed that this is a very growing market and it will keep on growing endlessly because this is a requirement which is very much there in today's time because when you go and start doing your interiors timelines are very important and with the current situation of artisans going absolutely extinct it's very important that you know we move towards a product which is factory made and you are able to uh, honor your timelines so that's how i look at it and that's what uh, you know i enjoy myself it's a very passionate thing for me thank you thank you savita thank you balbir ji so uh let us move on and i would address my first question uh to architect anupozu uh so how often do you source new materials how often do you look for specialized services in your work actually from project to project we keep on uh, trying some i mean we keep on looking for some different material and the new material or something different from the other, I mean, from the previous project so for, as an architect as a as a designer it is always a new ideas is something which is always required for a, for a, for a, for any upcoming project and from client to client also we might have to keep on changing the uh, design ideas and ideologies from a client of uh, Uh, a, 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 a angster's requirement would be different when it comes to a, a, a senior uh, i mean senior citizen he will have a different requirement and when it comes to product choosing the product uh nowadays uh, we are getting into icbc and uh, uh, there are a lot of uh, green rated products also required for the industrial I mean, for, uh, for our industry because uh which will cut down the which will minimize the damage to the environment so that's how in in terms of the interiors and exteriors there is lot of requirement for the new products i mean uh, new innovative products which will uh, minimize the damage on the environment so it is a regular process we, we, we i mean uh, it is a regular process but at the same time the working and the detailing the detailing part also we will have to look at the detailing part also a new product is something which can be innovated uh, very very uh, easily but how to install it how to make it workable on site the, that kind of detailing also it has to be worked out while doing the uh, while uh, working on the new products so it's it's it, it's like uh, uh, it's going to be very uh very i mean for project to project definitely we look for a new pro new, new product kind of a thing so that's how we can't say uh, specific period but definitely uh from project to project it varies so new product uh, sure sir i understand when yeah. it comes so to do kitchens, you have a person when, yeah do you have do you have a person dedicated uh, in your uh, firm who takes care of these uh, this kind of research uh, or uh, how do you how do you source the new product products or new materials 
so basically the sourcing the product is something uh, we keep on uh, doing r and d we have a, we have some team working on it somebody who takes care of the marketing guys they keep on visiting our offices but at the same time we will also try to look for some kind of a uh, market survey definitely we'll we'll get into a market survey and through the magazines and kind of thing we'll definitely look for the new products but nowadays uh, when it comes to interiors there is there has been a lot of varieties of like barbie just said there has been a lot of requirement based on the timelines so availability of the material so all these things will come into picture when we try to source a product i mean uh, something coming in Ita- from italian i mean from italy it may take 6 months of time something equivalent to that if it can be available within india so that's also something like we always look for it so we always have a somebody who is working constantly on the sourcing of the new material we always have somebody we always have it. uh my next question is to uh, balbir ji balbir ji tell us a little bit about why are you so passionate only about uh, wardrobes and kitchens why not other aspects of uh, uh d- details that go into the interiors yeah so when the interiors you are putting together a, a you know sort of layout uh, they want to show their innovation their aesthetic sense so mine is a very functional area and i've always felt that when you have a total house the total square feet where the kitchen is going to come is so minimal that the effort required is humongous and kitchen is everything to do with functioning the functionality the services that are required so it requires a hell of a lot of details i mean it is many hours of discussion with the end customer the user the lady of the house that you enter into because those aspects have to be very well addressed i consider our kitchen as a food factory it has to work absolutely tiggity boo what is kept where what is to be drawn out from where what is to be disposed so there is a function which is happening there within that confined area even if you have a say let us say a 4000 square feet apartment you will end up having a kitchen of say about 150 to 200 square feet that's a normal kind of a thing so within that confine you are able to you are supposed to deliver it and that has to work well now if the kitchen is not well appointed the whole house has a problem because the lady of the house is not happy there is a water leakage happening there is a fridge problem there is a gas problem there is a chimney not working i mean there are so many small small aspects put together so it has to absolutely work perfectly so now that is one area now the other area is wardrobes now as the time has passed i have seen that everyone wants a very organized wardrobe no longer it is just an almira we used to in my childhood we would say a godrej almira is what sorted out everything a safe inside something to hang and rest are all shelves today the customer is so discerning because they are traveling they are traveling through different time zones and different temperature zones so you need to have your wardrobe absolutely accessible so you can't have your say warm clothes put up in an attic or in the loft and then forget about it because tomorrow i may be taking a flight to somewhere which is very cold so i need to get my warm clothes out so today the focus has actually moved and people have started realizing that i need a wardrobe which is well appointed and their demands are going up from day to day and we enjoy it because that is what the whole thing is about because after all at the end of the day one is the kitchen area which is the lady of the house should be happy but when you come back to the bedroom your wardrobes have to be well appointed too so i felt that this i could be a, you know sort of i i loved it so that's how i focus myself here because you are detailing everything that saves the trouble to the end designer who is putting the house together for us to do these things so we are a team with them so they need not measure out the you know height of the drawer that is required the kind of drawer that you need all this thing we sort out because it saves a lot of time to the designer let's put it time is at a premium today for everybody if you live in mumbai you find that if you have to travel from point a to b and come back and have a meeting you are most of the time on the road 
I can't expect a senior architect coming and meeting me for this kind of a whole thing for a detailing. So that's where the client comes in. We discuss everything. Then we go and make a presentation to them. And then we all three, you know, three corners will agree that, look, this is what it works well. Then there are certain finishes that the customer wants. There are certain finishes that the architect wants, the interior designer, because the touch and feel is ultimately the interior designer. We have an offering of different finishes. We have an offering of different hardware. But finally, everything put together has to be okayed by the design because ultimately it's his design. We are a team to them. It's not that, you know, we have a big ego here that we are doing kitchen. So that is no, it's not like that. We are a team to them. And that is where I find, found it's very enjoyable. To work with them, get things moving. It's a help to them. And in return, you are getting your work also done. And the customer is also happy. So it saves a lot of time. That is what I would say. So how do you go about this, Balbirji? You approach the architects or they approach you? How does it work? It's both ways. It both ways. It is both ways because you network, you meet people and uh, give your representation. They come and see your product. You need to have a display because when you have a kitchen and wardrobe business happening, you need to have a display point. Because besides whatever you do on the paper, end of the day, touch and feel, feeling the material is very, very vital. Finish of your shutter is important. Finish of your product is very important. So a display point has to be there where you invite the customer, where you invite the designer to come and take a feel. Because ultimately, like uh, Sridhar said, you know, you can import anything from Italy, Germany. I mean, I started my career with an Italian company. We were three brands at that time in the country. Today, there are at least 40 plus and it's growing and you have all the options. But at the end of the day, customer will only decide once they get a feel of the product. It's very important. You know, when you can't do an online, uh, you know, I can buy a T-shirt online. I can buy clothes online. I can buy shoes online, but I can't buy a kitchen and wardrobe online. I'll ultimately, the architect will say if it is a soft closing, Balbir, I want to see. I want to feel it. Are you see, I am going to say everything good about my product, but somebody has to come and qualify it. And that qualifying is very important. So you need to have a display point. You need to connect with them. And then, yes, of course, if I can reach to the end customer first, no harm. Absolutely. OK. Any digital platform can reach me on this thing. That is how it works. So it's a it's everything. I mean, we are definitely purely dependent on the end. Because ultimately, they need to sign it off. That's how it works. Uh, so this is where a person like Kavita comes in as a brand communicator. So Kavita, can you tell us how exactly do you go about this process? How how does a brand get established? So I, I think before talking about uh, you know how does a brand get established, I just want to talk a little about why is it important for a brand to get established. I think it's very important to differentiate yourself. You know, uh, Balbir talked about the amount of competition that's there. Maybe many years back, we had one or two brands in the market. So it was easier to stand out. Today, we are in a hyper competitive uh, market space. And uh, the customer uh, has changed dramatically because, you know, earlier on, you would just go to your neighborhood store or you would go to the next house. Your expectations as a customer were very, very limited. Today's customer has changed dramatically. I think Sridhar talked about it as well, you know, saying that every customer has a very specific need. And so, for example, a certain customer may want, you know, sustainability or environment friendly products or an environment friendly theme as a central theme. Another uh, customer may be looking out for a very Italian theme. They want a premium theme, you know. So having said that, two things have changed around us and hence the need for differentiation of brand creation. One is the customer mindset and their exposure to international uh, trends and nuances. They are completely now in a different space altogether. And secondly, the market itself. There is There are so many uh, creative design uh, offerers or architects as well as service providers and hence the customer has access to those many people who can help him with things. Now that's where a brand comes in. Why does one actually choose one uh, service provider or one architect over another? 
it's because i trust or i i resonate with the vision of that particular uh service provider or that creative person who's going to that architect who's going to design my house i have possibly seen some of the work that they have done physically uh or possibly in a magazine like india art and design right i have seen some of it or i have seen it on the uh you know i think uh, but we talked about it on the digital medium today before i even uh, kind of you know uh think about buying something or accessing a certain service or a uh, uh you know looking out for an architect my first place is to actually go use my mobile phone and search search on the internet and this is where a brand plays a very very important role number one as a service provider as a creative fraternity uh one needs to be present on the digital medium you have to be there on google people have to be able to hunt for you secondly what you communicate about yourself has to be very very strong you know so platforms like the one on which we are today and you know we have an audience that's listening to the views of shridhar or balbir are picking up something right now in terms of what's their vision how do they approach a certain design process the fact that balbir actually is very passionate about kitchens and wardrobes i wouldn't have known this otherwise i'm on this platform and hence i know about it so the brand uh creation process very important very critical to ensure credibility to ensure preference and how do you go about it really going about establishing your brand or ensuring your brand is there on the digital medium for sure on the uh, you know if you know what i mean or in magazines which actually cater to your to this community very very important to be there you know in whatever way to showcase work so the objective is not only to be offline because offline is now as we know in the covid scenario has become a little difficult so these are the two mediums which i particularly feel are very important the digital medium to ensure credibility and awareness about your work as well as the print medium uh which allows you to reach out to your customers to your end customers as well as showcase your work within the peer group you know so for a service provider it's important that the architect community knows about them and likewise it also works the other way around so i think it's not only for the end customer but also for the industry industry and the fraternity i i hope i've given a a, a detailed answer to your no. question yeah it's it's a really broad overview but uh, tell me something the question that comes to my mind here is we all know the journey of a product we know how a brand gets established and things you know you see it all over the place but uh, when we are speaking of uh, specialized uh, services or service providers who are small entities in by themselves uh, how does one address a niche audience i mean how would you address a niche audience maybe you can give us an example of uh, uh something you've already done or uh, an experience yeah. because an experience is something that we are all creating i mean even the architect uh, the creative individual there is actually creating an experience for us when uh, you know he's creating a home for us so we are looking at different ambiance in an office we are looking for something else so we're looking at aesthetics we're looking at functions we're looking at multiple things that we literally you know kind of burden him with and then he carves that beautiful experience that or makes us feel at home in that space so is there an example that you can give us of uh, building a niche uh, for a brand a building a niche brand so I, i'm going to give you an example of an unrelated industry okay you know when you're trying to really communicate or build a brand for a very discerning audience a very specific audience right uh for example i'm going to stay uh, steer clear from the building industry and you know uh this space of the creative space but take you all into the space of cars okay automotive cars so you know you have the maruti car and then you have the lamborghini car okay lamborghini or a porsche which are very very premium so you know the kind of communication that you do for a mass product versus a very very uh, i would say different product a niche product which looks at a very specific customer audience the communication is very different so for example i have worked on porsche and lamborghini and what did we do over there i think we really showcased the 
quality of the product why is the product so different what is different about the uh, make of the product what is different about the high quality materials that are used in the lamborghini car the exceptional craftsmanship that's what a very very premium product brings to the table okay uh, it's a very small batch production you will never see the numbers that are you know if you know a lamborghini uh, manufacturing line versus a maruti maruti is mass production lines a lamborghini car or a premium car a racing car will have very 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 small numbers they actually go only on the basis of what the order book is looking like you have to pre order a premium car and this is a classic case for any niche product that you're trying to sell uh, also you know what are the you know uh, i think sridhar said something beautiful earlier on in this discussion a lot of customers are really focusing on the environment friendliness of products you know and some of the niche customers really are very very focused on this trend and this is a trend that's only going to uh, kind of grow from here a lot of your um, i would say premium uh, like a lamborghini uh, product a lamborghini car will stress on the messaging around this and i think these are uh, these products are more expensive but they are very very focused on quality so if you're looking to talk to a customer who is asking for quality who's a very who is looking for something specific he won't be your discount finder okay he will not be the one who will go to ikea and pick up products he is coming to an architect because he has a vision and he shares that vision of the architect and a service provider like balbir's company or balbir will come in to actually fulfill that vision so he has a vision for his wardrobe he has a vision for his kitchen space he is expecting it in a certain way so are we able to actually fulfill that vision are we aligning so a customer who is looking for that kind of you know will look to find those people on the digital space they will look to see whether shridhar's website actually showcases some of the houses that he has done for those kind of customers balbir's website or any of his social handles for example showcase any of the wardrobes that he has done so i think the best place like i continuously say now you know the world is moved away from offline offline is a second step the first step is online and word of mouth so for example if shridhar has done any kind of designing for like minded hnis high net worth individuals you know ambani's for example yeah those are the niche customers we are looking at if he has done any kind of designing within that i'm just using the ambani's as a place holder but if he has done someone a uh, a uh, uh, home he is designed in that circle in the circle of friends of that niche customer whatever price point they are at then i think that customer is convinced that shridhar is my architect or balbir is the one who i will go to for my kitchen or for for my wardrobe so that is the way they are taking decisions on the basis of word of mouth any work that they can see physically in the peer group and secondly on the digital space validation on the digital space absolutely uh, you really rounded it off very well kavita i think this is a, a kind of thought that we are taking forward at india art and design uh, because this evening as you know also marks the soft launch of the new page on our website which talks about the assistance that we offer uh, in our product hub section uh, to the product manufacturers and to service providers so our product hub section at india art and design uh, is actually a product showcase or a marketplace where you read and learn about the new products and materials that are in the market you also uh, hear about their launches and with the, today we mark uh, uh, the day with um, opening up this section to include services especially service providers who are specialized in pertinent aspects which are integral to the creative uh, bent of architects and designers so this is where we uh, called in balbir ji to talk about uh, his products uh, i will take a minute now to request our uh, founder publisher mr hira or to please take us through a small presentation on the page that we are launching uh, mr hira can you take it over please
Yeah, thank you so much, Savita, for getting me in here. Hi, everybody. Uh, I hope I'm audible. Uh, yes, please. Can you hear me? Yeah, lovely. So, uh, well, uh, for those of you who are new to India Art and Design, our product tab is a section which uh, India Art and Design covers two products in a week and uh, gives an exclusive uh, position to attention to each and every product. Uh, with this particular day, we start with giving a free product placement offer, uh, wherein anybody, either a product or service, can upload their product and the information. It is only up to the discretion of the team of when they will pick it up. Of course, we have got multiple other offers that we can give, wherein there are there'll be a flexi plan, there'll be a pro plan, and there'll be an enterprise plan. There are certain additional offerings that are going to be made in all these three plans. Uh, soon they will be, it will go completely automated. Uh, as of now, because this is, we just about ready with it and time is just right. We said, let's at least have something started. So a lot of it is self-explanatory. Uh, we have one position for an image and about hundred words of write up in this section. And uh, all the products that we do are distributed via various social media networks and also taken uh, in our weekly issues. Uh, there's a more in-depth thing that I can do on this. We're running short of time right now. So I think this is the fastest that I could do about with it. Uh, happy to connect with anybody who wants to on this on a one-to-one -one basis again and give you a guided tour on this once again. Thank you so much. Over to Savita. Uh, thank you, Lalit. That was uh, a really quick presentation. But as Lalit says, uh, the time is short. So if you'd like to connect um, separately with him, and he can give you a detailed presentation on the same. Uh, very soon, we have come to the end of this evening. Uh, and I think it's been a very enlightening discussion with each of uh, our speakers giving us valuable take home. Uh, thank you so much, Kavita. Uh, Architect Anupozu Balbirji for taking the time and giving us this uh, beautiful evening. Uh, thank you, the audience. Uh, we hope that you have uh, enjoyed the discussion and have a little bit to take home with you. Uh, Team India Art and Design will soon be back with another live session. We are always working on bringing you uh, small nuggets uh, which are pertinent to design and uh, architecture and art as well. Until then, do stay tuned to our platforms on LinkedIn. Facebook, Insta, and continue reading us on www.indiaartanddesign.com. Thank you so much, all of you, for being here. Bye-bye. Thank you, Karina. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This platform